By the way, that girl seemed really strong. She was so tiny and cute, I thought I'd be able to scoop her right up, but that clearly wouldn't have happened without a fight. Yeah, if not for our personas, they probably would have defeated us in the blink of an eye. Come to think of it, we still don't know what this place is or why we can use our personas here. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. But man, the real shame here is that I wasn't able to snuggle that cat. Forget about the cat already! Have you not noticed that we're constantly being assaulted? At least pretend to be worried. I guess, but we're used to finding ourselves in unusual places. It's not that big a deal. I mean, you're not wrong, but still. The bigger issue is why we're fighting cats in the first place. That's what we were trying to figure out. Catch up, man. Well, it might sound irresponsible, but since we're all here, I feel like things might just work out. Huh, you just don't have a care in the world. But honestly, it's kind of nice that we're all together like this. Even if Kanji is useless for coming up with a plan. That's true. If Naoto were here, things would be completely different. She's over there. What? Wait, where? Really? Just ahead. Take a look. I see her! With... Huh? Two girls? One tiny one and another in an ornate dress. It seems like they're talking. Ah, uh, sounds like a fight waiting to happen. Calm down. Naoto's alone, and the rules require a two-person tag team. They're not going to attack her. Oh, that's right! Huh. But if we head over there, we'll be partnered up and... Wait, who's missing? Yo, Naoto! What are you doing all on your own like that? Be careful! Look who's talking! Wait, Kanji! If you get too close to Naoto! <sighs> Let's go! I'm sorry, but I don't have this keystone you're talking about. However, it's possible that I could help you find it. Could you tell me more? Hmm. Doesn't seem like she knows anything. Talking to her is a waste of time. You don't have to be so rude. Hey, Naoto! Huh? Tatsumi-kun, why are you here? Don't worry about that. Are you okay? I... I am. I just didn't expect that you would be here, Tatsumi-kun. You caught me just as I was asking these people for information. Naoto! Naoto! How many of you are here? And it's good to see you, Narokami-senpai. I'm glad you're safe, Naoto. Likewise. Huh. Is this all of us? Interesting. Oh, huh? You seem awfully collected, Detective Prince. This is everybody we found, so far. I see. For my part, I suddenly found myself in this place and started to explore. That's how I found myself here. You're the first familiar faces I've seen. Wait, do you mean you ran into people you didn't know? Did they attack you or anything? No, I didn't run into any issues. I did discover that this is not the TV world, though. Some of the scenery was familiar, but other parts were unlike anything I've ever seen. There are no shadows here, nor can I hear anyone's voice. However, I can use my persona, and I do have my weapon. In other words, I'm ready for battle. Wow, you basically reasoned everything out! Hardly. There's still a lot I don't know. Senpai, have you heard of something called a keystone? I have one. I was holding it when I first arrived. We were told that we can't get out of here without it. I see. So it's necessary to escape. Hmm. So that's a keystone. It's much more portable than I expected. So, who are these people? They were looking for the keystone. In other words, they're trying to escape this place just like us. That's right. Huh? Well, hold up! I know how this story usually ends! This worked out quite nicely. I'll have you hand over that keystone now. <gasps> oh, I knew it! Please wait. You don't intend on taking it by force, do you? It all depends on them. I don't think I'd kill any of them, at least. But what's going on here? 
Are they seriously trying to rob us of the Keystone? That's what I want to know! Why does everyone we run into always end up fighting us? They're every bit as much victims of this world as we are. There's no need for violence. You understand, don't you, Princess of the Nightblade? <sighs> You're always such a goody two-shoes. You think we'll find a compromise in this situation? Ridiculous. Ridiculous though it may be, what's wrong is wrong. Wrong, 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 absolutely wrong! <sighs> this is why I can't stand your absurd obsession with justice. Fine. For now, we're allies. We'll settle this later. If we get back alive, that is. Wait a minute! It's not about getting in a fight later! It's about not fighting at all! Hey! But aren't the two of them fighting? What should we do? Should we duck out while we have the chance? Yeah! Doesn't seem like that obnoxious you-know-what is gonna show up either. You know what? Oh, he's probably referring to me. Yeah, that's right! That thing with the irritating voice and... Come on, seriously? How is your timing this good? What? You thought I wouldn't hear you? Well, you thought wrong. I'm practically clairvoyant. It's like the voices in our heads. Could it be a support type persona user? Whatever it is, it's probably not a good thing that they have a direct line to our brain. Oh, who cares about little old me? Now, how about that tag battle? In the end, it all comes down to this. Good. Hey, moderator, hurry up and start the fight. Maybe that'll shut Orie up. Hey, why do you keep... Ask and ye shall receive! Ten seconds until the bell! If entrants are not decided by then, it will count as a forfeit, and the losers will be subject to a truly embarrassing punishment, as per our new rule. Wait! You totally just made that up! That's not fair! Guess we're doing this. Come on, Yosuke. Me? Alright! Let him have it, Hanamura! Damn it, fine! Watch my back, partner! Get ready! Get ready! Can't escape from crossing fate! Fight! Go! Pointless! Get away! Her soul! Go! I cannot lose. Guard. 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 about foxed us. We have to retreat, Princess of the Nightblade. Damn. I underestimated them. Looks like we beat them. Jeez. Did not think those two girls would be so strong. I'm sorry I acted so rashly. It was a mistake to bring up the Keystone so casually. I didn't expect that they would attack. It's fine. Nobody's hurt or anything. Oh, right. Naoto-kun, you're not up to speed yet, are you? Hanamura, explain. Right. So basically... Wait, since when am I the designated thing explainer? Oh, so you were trying to get information too. At least from those willing to talk. I just ran from anyone who tried to attack me. I guess my instincts were wrong about those two, though. Ah, don't blame yourself. It's not like they came at you with their weapons ready or anything. That's true. But I made the mistake of dropping my guard to get more information. 
I swear, if Kanji hadn't gone berserk, maybe you could have gotten something out of him. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't mind. I doubt I would have gotten any useful information even if Tatsumi-kun hadn't appeared. Anyway, I tried asking earlier, but is this everybody that has been brought here from our world? I think so. Nobody's seen so much as a trace of Teddy or Rise. Well, in our circle of friends at least. So why us? Did they pick us for a reason? It's not a matter of location. Narukami-kun is here after all. Ooh, maybe we're chosen descendants of heroic bloodlines! Can you take this seriously? Hold on. I think I might know. Teddy-kun and Kujikawa-san are both capable navigators. Maybe whatever brought us here wanted to keep us in the dark. Huh? So what? It, it wants to split us all up or something? No. It's more that... It wants to keep us from evading our enemies. What do you mean? Why would it want that? The humans in this world... Well, humans might not quite be an accurate term. Every one of them knew that someone in our group had a key item, so to speak. You've been getting in fights ever since you arrived here, correct? Oh yeah, one after another with no time to rest. But if Teddy-kun or Kujikawa-san were here, you likely would have been able to avoid some of those battles. I don't know where the designated goal is, but those two would have made getting there a lot easier. Which would mean... Whoever brought us here is deliberately making us hold the key item and enabling these battles with everyone we meet. Which I'm starting to get a little sick of, honestly. Exactly. Someone out there has something to gain from all this fighting. And while this is just a theory, I think that the voice we heard earlier is controlling people here to some extent. At least through the rules it has established. Yeah, that voice is the one who keeps starting all the tag battles, too. It's probably designed to encourage the people in this world to fight each other. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. That would mean that the voice is the one behind all of this, right? That, or the voice is simply an emissary. Either way, it's likely that holding on to the Keystone and continuing to fight will eventually achieve the Mastermind's objective. But, to be optimistic, perhaps the realization of that objective will allow us to be released. You kidding? Whatever this punk's after can't be good. We can't just play along. I feel the same way. I don't like this place. It feels as though our memories have been projected onto something abnormal. Yeah, it's pretty creepy, especially the way it mixes in places we're familiar with. If the Mastermind knows everything about us, and is arranging all of these fights, should we really keep moving forward? I don't know. Moving forward seems to be our only option. Oh, it's frustrating to know that we're doing what the Mastermind wants us to do. But I think it's the only way for us to approach the truth. Agreed. Returning to our world is important, but that's not our only concern. Yeah, I don't know what they're up to, but if it's something bad... We'll crush them! We'll beat them up! Haha, <laughs> you ever think we're a little too used to these crazy situations? But we've got no other choice. We can't just leave the culprit be, can we? <laughs> no, we can't. But we have to be cautious. If there's any way we can avoid combat, we should. Yeah, come on everyone. We're back here again? Seriously? At least those guys we met here are gone. Maybe they're looking for us. Yeah, no thanks. I don't want to have to deal with them again. I actually kind of want to get a rematch with Makoto. This time without using my persona. Using only my kicks, like... Hucha! Yeah, you'd lose. Or worse, you'd die. That girl's moves were on another level. I'd be fine. If she's that strong, she must know how to fight without hurting her opponent too bad. <laughs> well, that's optimistic. 
You probably won't see her again before we're out of here. But if you do, go for it. But for real, though, it sucks that Teddy isn't here. If we were inside the TV right now, he'd probably be able to pop us right out of here. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have Teddy-san or Risei-chan to guide us. Right? It feels like they're being left out. It's not fair. By the way, welcome back, Narukami-kun. Hmm, can I really say welcome back when we're in another world? I'd say so. Welcome back, Narukami-kun. Honestly, with everything that's happened, it really doesn't feel like it's been that long. Hey, if we get out of here, do you think we'll wind up back in our homes? It'd be cool if we could all hang out in Inaba again. Well, that might make it hard for Narukami-senpai to get back to the city. Fortunately, I'm fairly used to the commute, so I could show him the easiest train route back. Hey, Narukami-kun, if you do get to come back to Inaba with us, let's all go get some beef bowls on Hanumara's tab! Hell no! I don't have that kind of money. I'll cover Narukami's and that's it. Oh, don't be so stingy. Fine. How about the food court at Juness? It'd feel more like an investigation meeting that way, too. Hello, Miss Satonaka. Are you listening? <laughs> nice to see you guys haven't changed. Uh, hate to crash your little party, but... Who? Whoa! You scared the shit out of me! Who are you anyway? Tatsumi-kun, calm down. He doesn't seem hostile. Hey, Naoto. That sounds less convincing when you've got your gun drawn. Guess none of us can help it. I've got my knives out, too. Well, just look at the guy. He looks super strong! And that weapon of his is huge! Oh, it's red. I think it's sort of charming. Charming? Calm down, I'm not here to fight. So you have no intention of taking our keystone? Well, if you just wanted to give it to me, I wouldn't complain. We can't do that. We have to get back to our original world. Hmm, yeah, I figured as much. Still, I'm not gonna take your keystone. I got one of my own anyway. Take a look. Huh? That's the same stone Narukami's holding, but it's a different color! So there really are multiple keystones. I think it's safe to say that he's not our enemy. If he's after the keystones, showing us his is far too brazen. And if it's a trap, it's a sloppy one. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm just saying I'd take your keystone if you didn't want it, but I don't really give a damn. Then why did you come talk to us? I've been told to collect the keystones, but something seems off to me. Bugs me that she's on the move, too. She? Who's he talking about? I don't know. It must be an acquaintance of his. Anyway, this guy actually seems like he wants to talk. I mean, I know our track record hasn't been great, but maybe we should give it a try. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Yu Narukami. Ragna the Blood Edge. Rog... what? Are you a foreigner or something? A foreigner? He's from a completely different world! Okay, wow, that's still hard to wrap my head around. Then should I call you Ragna-san? Uh, drop the sun. Ragna's just fine. So, you're Narukami? You? Well, whatever you want to be called, you're wrapped up in this thing too. Damn rabbit. She won't explain a thing. Rabbit? You mean that girl wearing the bunny ears? Rachel? Yeah. Did you run into her? Calling her girl makes her sound way too innocent. That rabbit's trying to collect all four keystones, but... There are four? So all we were told was that we were supposed to take this keystone and head to the goal. We didn't hear a thing about collecting them. And every time we meet someone, they try to take it away, so we've been running at the soonest chance we get! Damn. Seems like a pretty smart move, though. Everyone in this world is... kinda crazy. If kids like you tried to take them on for real, you wouldn't be walking away so easily. 
Screw you! We haven't lost a single match so far. Tatsumi-kun, we finally met someone we can talk to. So let's try to stay amicable. So, it seems you're trying to collect all of these keystones too. Are you sure that you can afford to talk to us like this? Uh, eh, take this seriously. Hey, I'm a victim here too, you know. I've got no idea what's going on. That's why we gotta find that rabbit. Come to think of it, she really was acting strange. She seemed kind of overwhelmed and flustered, and she was even cagier about things than she usually is. Ah, just thinking about her pisses me off. She's always making me do her dirty work for her. Damn it, once all this is settled, I'm gonna make her cry. That'll show her. Um, does that mean you'll cooperate with us? I don't know about this. He's talking to us now, but at the end of the day, he still wants the keystone, right? Nah, if you guys want it, you can keep it. Excuse me? I mean, we weren't about to hand it over, but I expected you'd care a little more. I'm guessing that it's more important that they're all together than it is that one person have them. So whether you have it or I have it, won't make much difference. Uh, really? But if I let you keep it, you guys have to follow me. If you guys lose your keystone or someone takes it from you, it's not gonna be good. And if you don't want to do that, well, I think you know how this will go down. Uh, follow you? To where? First of all, we'll find the rabbit. You know she's got to be holding on to something important. <sighs> hey, what should we do? What if we follow the stranger and he doesn't just take our keystone, but also our skulls? I'm not even kidding! Do you really think it's okay? Honestly, I don't think we have anything to worry about from him. Probably. Agreed. He doesn't look like a bad... Well, he doesn't seem the type to stab someone in the back, at least. We'll need to use caution. But everything he's done so far makes me think that he'd be a worthy ally. Either way, we won't be able to find this goal all by ourselves. I think following Ragnason and asking Rabbit Son for a proper explanation is a good idea. Yeah, once we do that, we can figure out our plan. Works for me. You'll never know what's in the hole if you don't jump in. I'm not following you into any holes. You guys finished hashing things out? Yeah. We'll take you up on your offer, but let's each hold on to our respective keystones, okay? Those stones are mine! Who's that? <gasps> what? It's a girl! And she's got a huge scythe! And she's actually really cool. This isn't the time to admire her! She's attacking us! Ah, stay focused! Now what? Well done. I tried attacking you from your blind spot, but you're quicker than you look. Sorry I messed up, Weiss. Don't worry, I accounted for that. Plan B. Yeah! We are the Huntresses of Justice! No matter what world we're in, we will not allow evil to go unpunished! Now, hand over that keystone at once. <sighs> this looks like trouble. Hey, what's your problem? That was dangerous! Silence. Don't try to justify your evil schemes. Weiss is right. We won't let you use that keystone for evil. We're going to keep this world safe. Evil? Since when are we the bad guys? I'm guessing that the voice gave them bad info. It's like that Taker guy said. I believe we may have been given conflicting information. So does that mean that each combatant was given different instructions? But to what end? I don't know and I don't care. Punks like this don't listen until you rough them up a little. Wow, Ragnason, you're awfully physical. Just hold on to your stone and stand back. I've got this. Not without my help. I'm not gonna let you fight alone. But really? Be careful, partner! Give me a tag! Give me a battle! Give me a tag battle! 
Did you know that tag and battle are the Phantom Field's primary exports? Well, with that factoid out of the way, let's get our entrance ready to roll! You stupid, voicey bastard! Stop being so excited about all this! Doesn't matter to me. I've got to do what I've got to do. Just make sure you pull your weight. If you're gonna fight, then fight! There's no way we'll lose! Crossing fate. Fight! This will leave a mark. Did you see this? so easily <laughs> for a couple of kids you're pretty persistent you got guts I'll give you that hey <laughs> now that you've beaten each other up <laughs> can we just talk a little yeah any more fighting is just gonna tire us all out ridiculous I have nothing to say to villains like you villains huh you should probably start by setting the record straight on that one Listen, we're not evil, and we don't plan on doing anything to this world. Huh? Well, wait. If that's the case, then what do you intend to do with that keystone? We just want to get back home. We were told that if we keep this stone safe, we could escape. We were brought here from another world. I imagine you were as well. Apparently, the things the voice told you and the things it told us are very different. So that's probably the root of the problem here, right? You mean you're not the bad guys. Now you get it! Amazing. Look what happens when you listen. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm sorry. We've been extremely rude. Don't worry about it. As long as things are all cleared up now, we're good. All right, that sounds like a ceasefire to me. Whew, <laughs> it's nice to talk without worrying I'll be attacked. Please, tell me, do you have a keystone of your own? You bet. Take a look. Huh? Check it out, senpai. It's a different color from the one you're holding. This one's red. Uh-huh. The voice told us that the people with the other colored keystones were all bad guys. That they wanted to use the stone's power for evil and throw the world into chaos. Damn, that's not even a good lie. So that's why you came after us? Everything okay now, Toe? Why are you so quiet? That lie is proof that they're hiding something. Huh? Mm, things are finally starting to come together. I just need a little more information. Why has everyone here received different instructions? What's the underlying intent? Who cares? All I want to do is get the hell out of... Target confirmed. Initiating mission. Watch out! Eh? <laughs> what now? S. Huh? Do you know this chick? Target captured. Initiating damage check. No damage detected. <sighs> huh? What? Our keystone! Absurd! I could hardly even see her! First mission complete. Transitioning to removal phase. No! Ruby, look out! What? Transferring. The hell? The thing disappeared! Hey, you! What did you do to them? Please do not worry. I did not hurt them. 
They have been isolated in a non-combat area. Uh, isolated? That fast? What, did you, like, warp them there or something? You guys stand back. This is no ordinary opponent. Ragna the Blood Edge, Yu Narukami. I am aware that you each possess a keystone. Please hand them over to me. So she's after the stones too. You must be joking. What's your plan here, ass? Even if we give you the stones, what are you gonna do? That does not concern you. It very much concerns me, you dumbass. My, listen to all that barking. It makes me wonder if you have any bite. <laughs> oh, Bunny. Bunny? W was that her name? You. You've got some nerve showing up with that smug look on your face. Well, I guess how you look now doesn't matter, because you're going to be crying once I'm done with you. I'm terrified, truly. You seem especially rambunctious today. Do I need to call for a hero to protect me? Just keep talking. I'm gonna shut that arrogant mouth. There we are. One hero to the rescue. We find ourselves in another world. Yet our fates are still intertwined. You. <laughs> that mask guy's here too. Now, Ragnar, give us your keystone. Damn, you too, huh? What's so important about this stone? You do not need to know, and I'm afraid I don't have much time. Please don't make this into a nuisance. Whether you hand the stone over or not, I still intend to cut you down. <laughs> you should have told me I only had one option from the get-go. Huh? Don't tell me you're gonna try to fight huge sword girl, bunny girl, and mask dude all on your own! Not a problem. Let's me take them all out at once. Actually, it is a problem. Tag battle rules, remember? And no handicap matches allowed. You've got to get ready for a proper fight! You again! Stop being so hyped about this! Those damn rules again! So what, I need another entrant? <laughs> Guess it's time for me to step up! Huh? Kanji-kun? Hey, are, are you serious, kid? These guys are monsters in human form. There's no guarantee you'll make it out alive. Good. I've been wanting a challenge. You helped us out earlier, right? Well, that makes us allies. And a man like Kanji Tatsumi doesn't leave his allies in a jam. You sure you're playing with a full deck here? Well, fine. Do whatever you want. And the fast continues. Rachel a la carte registering for battle. I, Hakuman, offer my blade. Okay! Sounds to me like both teams are ready to brawl! Then it's settled. We'll take on Rabbit and the Masked Freak. You guys... Got it. We'll handle the girl with the giant sword. Sorry. This is my mess. I should be able to clean it up. <laughs> it's just like Kanji said. Allies help each other out. <laughs> you guys are my kind of idiots. Let's go, Kanji! Hell yeah! Time to kick some ass! Oh boy. Kanji's blood is boiling again! Hey, Hanamura, eyes forward! We've got our own problems! Target's hostility level increased. Commencing removal. It seems we have no choice. Yeah, let's go! Get ready! Get ready! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have ceased. It seems we've won. Oh, man. Every single match is so close. But is that girl really out of commission? Pud. Ing. It sounds like she's trying to say something, but I think she's too beat up to attack again. Oh, right. We need to check on Kanji-kun. God damn it. These bastards are seriously tough! One last push, Kanji! Let's show them what we got! This is pointless. My path of righteousness shall not be obstructed by the likes of you. Please, give up now and hand over the stone. Hurry! Ha! <laughs> What's the matter, Rabbit? You're really freaking out. What happened to all that confidence? Don't you make fun of me. I've told you many times that time is running... Okay, okay, break it up, folks. Stop, stop, stop. I said stop! What? Huh? What gives? Hey, this is... Yeah, this looks really, really bad. It seems we're too late. Huh? Narukami-kun, what's happening to you? What is this? What? Narukami's glowing! Wait! It's not just Narukami-kun! Oh, come on! What is this? What's going on? Why is it just the two of you? The stones. They're not the ones that are glowing. The keystones are. Ding, ding, ding! Hit that nail right on the head! Sounds like it's just about time for the climax. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell is that? Wow, it's kind of cool. What? Could that be? The keystone. Huh? You're trying to tell me that's the stone? In a matter of speaking, I would hazard a guess that this is the keystone's true form. Wait, where'd Ragnar go? And the rabbit and the masked monster are gone too. Oh, I have no use for them now, so I left them behind. The voice. So you're behind this. L left them behind? Where? An interdimensional space, a singularity, a room within infinity. <laughs> that sort of place. Not to worry. How can I not worry? Regardless, at this point, their safety is a trivial concern. My purpose is nearly achieved. Thanks to Team Yellow's collection of all-important battle data, that is. I knew it! That stone wasn't for escaping this place after all. What? Then what was it for? It's a recording medium. For battle information. Wow, you figured it out! You really are bright. That's the reason we were all given conflicting information. You used that to pit us against each other, so you could collect the data you wanted. No! You tricked us, you bastard! So, you used us. Well, to be accurate, I'm still using you. Huh? Like how you are? Why would we follow your orders now? Don't be so cruel. One last time, for old time's sake. One last time. That's right. Team Yellow, the last team standing, still has one more role to play. You are to be my final adjustment. Final adjustment? What does that mean? 
Hey, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Don't tell me. To be blunt, I would like your last fight to be against me. You are to be my test subjects. Not for any objective reason, so much as my personal curiosity. We're seriously doing this? Oh, by the way, if I win this battle, I'll take your world and the universe around it. Ah, no hard feelings, okay? Ah! No way! The scale of this battle just skyrocketed! Then bring it on! This ass kicking has been a long time coming! Indeed! My patience has been tried long enough! I am ready to unleash my vengeance! Miss Amagi! Stop saying things that make you sound like the villain! One way or another, we need to stop that thing. Let's go! Get ready! Get ready! Keystone's advance, but based on the way our surroundings are responding... You're correct. System is still alive. What? But what does that mean? Do we get to go back to our original world or not? Unfortunately, we were a little too late. System has already completed her observation of your world. And now that her core has been destroyed, the data that she collected is beginning to spread across this one. I'm sorry, I don't think I follow. A new world. A new phantom field is about to be born. A new world? Nope, nah, -uh, no thanks. Oh, this is going way over my head. You'll understand soon enough, see? Reconstruction has already started. 
off. Huh. The cherry blossoms are in bloom. Oh, yeah. But they weren't when we left, were they? Oh, my head. Man, now what's going on? Standing out here won't tell us anything. Let's head to the classroom and see what's going on. Yo, morning. Good morning. Hey, did you guys do the English homework? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Sup? Hey, you ever gonna give me my manga back? Guess what? I saw a new kid in the hallway talking to the teacher. Huh? What's that all about? Transfer student, maybe? He was wearing our uniform, so maybe he'll end up in our class. For real? How many transfers are we gonna get? Everyone's acting normal. Yeah, except that nobody seems to think that it's odd that I'm here. Oops! <laughs> Sorry. No worries. I was in the... Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm Ragnar the Blood Edge. Just transferred here. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> hey, hey! What the hell are you doing? Man, it's really windy today. Huh? Hey, Noel. Uh, you gotta help me. Let me copy some of your homework before class starts. Really? But that would be... Huh? Our class certainly has gotten more... diverse. Yeah, lots of transfers this year. Anyway, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around soon. I yeah, looking forward to it. Don't just accept this! How high is your weirdness tolerance? Hey, he did greet me, so... So what if he greeted you? Don't tell me this isn't freaking you out, too! But what's Ragnason even doing at our high school? He's wearing the uniform and everything! Uh-oh. Class is starting. Should we tell Kashiwagi-sensei about this? What's Kashiwagi gonna do anyway? Actually, is that Kashiwagi even our Kashiwagi? I thought the changing seasons were weird, but this is all wrong. This isn't even our school! Could this be the phantom field that Rachel was talking about? Oh no! Oh, I didn't just forget my homework, I forgot my textbooks too! Damn, that sucks. Wanna share mine? Ah, oh, thanks Hyde. I'll scoot over. They're all acting like this is totally normal! What's with this world?! Wow, it's like we've been classmates all along! Wait, Hamagi! Don't let their lies draw you in! We've never had classmates like these, got it? Oh, crap. Forgot my lunch. Hey, how's the cafeteria here? Stop trying to blend in with us! Oh, crap. Class is starting. 